Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lucas Monster, and today we're gonna be looking at the new uh, Mandalorian Black Series build up pack. Now, uh, this is, like I said, the newer one, not the old one that you see in front of you, but it is the newer revealed one at uh, Hasbro's recent Fan First Wednesday live stream. And I've seen so many people saying, hey, this is just a lazy repaint, or it's just another Mandalorian. And uh, I'm uh, making this video to disagree with you all because it is a pretty freaking cool figure, in my opinion, and it is not just any basic repaint and it is actually a new mold but we will get into that in the video so if you are new hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel we are doing a giveaway on the channel once we hit 5k we are giving away this is our trooper echo you do have to be subbed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and on to the video so let's take a close look at this figure pack honestly this is a figure i've been asking for for so long honestly ever since my first uh review on the channel it was the number 94 mandalorian and uh you know ever since that i'm like man i really hope we get more variants like the beskar or the muddy or etc and honestly i've been asking for this one for a long time and i'm really happy we're finally getting it but i do have a few nitpicks so like i said we're gonna go over the good the bad and everything in between this set does come with the muddy mando figure which is a variation of the number 94 mando with a few slight differences here and there which i will point out because it might be hard to tell uh, you know, just looking straight at it. It also does come with a Baby Yoda, an exclusive eyes closed head. Looking pretty cool. I do like this because in the actual scene, Baby Yoda does have his eyes closed like he's using the Force. So I do really like that version of uh, Baby Yoda, at least for this specific scene. And it does come with, of course, his Pram as well. But this is not the Pram we've already gotten. This is a brand new Pram. This is the, I guess, original Pram that he's found in, in Episode 1. The Pram does change, which I guess I didn't even notice when watching the show. But I guess it does change into the, um, I guess, end of the season there. And uh, that is at least this is the one in front of you is the one towards the end of the season so yeah i didn't even know it changed and honestly i think i do like that first one better it just screams more uh you know classic mandalorian in my opinion and i do like that one better so i'm happy we're getting that and then the scene is all about uh mando fighting the mudhorn so of course they had to include the mudhorn egg which is another great accessory i think uh you know it's one of those that it's not super necessary but it's cool to add to your collection and i think uh, if you have any Jawas or off-world Jawas, this is going to go great for that. So, 100%, I think that's a pretty cool idea to include that. And then, pretty much all that's left are a few accessories like his blasters. So, not a whole lot going on here, but still a pretty cool build-up pack. So, let's dive right into the figure. One thing I did want to point out is this is not a brand new mold. It is actually different. One thing that is hugely different, and the main difference is... The chest piece is actually a battle damaged chest piece like it's falling off it's bent it's crooked and I really like how they did that because in the scene obviously his chest piece is falling apart so I'm so happy they decided to make that upgraded chest piece in this figure uh, I think they pulled it out pulled it off pretty well and uh, it definitely looks battle damaged. Another thing you might not know is actually the right shoulder pauldron is the Beskar pauldron that he got at I believe in the beginning or might have been the beginning of episode 2, end of episode 1. Not entirely sure, but, you know, he does get that Beskar shoulder pad, which is a really cool thing. And uh, I guess one way to tell this is, of course, obviously the shape is different than the original uh, shoulder pad. But it also doesn't have the Mudhorn signet on it because he hasn't fought the Mudhorn yet or he's fighting it at the time of the figure or the time that the figure is based off of, I guess, if that made any sense. So obviously he doesn't have the Mudhorn signet. And uh, yeah, honestly, this is a pretty cool addition. I'm glad they do have this other mold now. They probably honestly just flipped this, uh, the like left side around to the other side. But um, honestly, I think that's a pretty cool addition. One thing that I am a little disappointed about is he doesn't have the battle damaged gauntlet. And uh, if you didn't know at the beginning, like I said, I can't remember if it was at the beginning of episode two or episode three, but Mando does get attacked by the Mudhorn and uh, he gets like chomped on by, not the Mudhorn, I'm sorry, the, uh, the Blurg and uh, his arm does get chomped on pretty well and as you can actually see it, it's not like it's, it's pretty subtle it doesn't show it super closely but you can see that his gauntlet is damaged that's a huge like bite mark out of it and um, you can definitely tell in the scene and it's something I wish they included it's hard to tell from the photos but the best I can tell it is not have the battle damaged gauntlet and at the time of him fighting the Mudhorn, he still does have that. So it is a little disappointing they didn't 
include that with the figure. Like I said, if they're doing new molds, it would have been nice to get a battle damaged gauntlet, but I do see why they didn't because obviously it could interfere with like the wrist articulation and peg and everything because if you have a big slice going down the gauntlet, obviously the hand could not be stable and everything. So I understand why they did it, but it would have been a really nice touch for them to do that. And then uh, my only other big gripe is that it's overpriced for the amount of accessories it comes with. It's a build-up pack, so it'll come with a ton of accessories. This is the original build-up pack, and as you can tell, he does come with, like I said, the jetpack, Baby Yoda, Pram, five pieces of Beskar, the tracking fob, Mando, and his accessories, where the newer one only comes with Mando, his weapons, Baby Yoda, and the Pram, and then of course the egg. So really you're missing out on all those pieces of Beskar, the tracking fob, and the jetpack, and you're comparing, so basically you're comparing these accessories to the egg is what you're getting in replacement which is definitely not the same value i feel like i feel like beskar all that stuff combined is way more than the egg especially with the jetpack so i really wish they would have included something else's accessories for the figure maybe like the knife that mando uses to kill the mudhorn because uh you know a big thing in this episode is mando using the knife it's a pretty big thing and a pretty uh you know a pretty big part of the episode I guess you could say and they didn't even decide to include it which is very unfortunate obviously he doesn't really have any storage on him for it which I guess is fine but you could always make a new mold like I said for uh, like a sheath or a knife to go into and uh, worst case scenario you can always grab like a Cara Dune's knife if, you, knife if you do have her or a hunter's knife but you know it's just one it's, it's frustrating to see them overprice this set and not include all the accessories like they did with the last another accessory I would have loved to seen or would have loved to see is uh, some kind of flame effect in in that episode uh, he uses his flamethrower against the mudhorn quite a bit like I said it's one of his main attacks it doesn't do very much but it would have been nice to see them include some kind of flame effect like I said obviously you might have had to change up some kind of mold for the gauntlet or something but it was still would have been nice to see because uh, there is a huge lack of accessories and uh, it has it actually has been confirmed that the price for the set will be about $37 which is overpriced like I said uh, compared to this set it, you're definitely getting more in this set so I say if you can get this one try to get that one instead but um, at least if you're trying to get the most bang for your buck but I actually do really like like this other new muddy mando but you know it is it is overpriced but if you look at it i guess the way hasbro's looking at it you're paying 25 dollars for this exclusive target figure you're paying 10 bucks for baby yoda so that already is 35 bucks and then they're like well you know what the pram and the egg and all that kind of stuff it's an extra two dollars just thrown in for free that's pretty much a bargain which is not true at all because it's already overpriced but i do see where they're saying that but also ten dollars for baby yoda is very very expensive Baby Yoda should not be 10 bucks, but like I said, Hasbro's just trying to capitalize on the fact that everybody loves Baby Yoda. But you know, we'll see. And then the last thing I wanted to point out was this awesome pain apps. He does have this new like form of weathering that Hasbro talked about in their live stream. That it is like a new form of special layered weathering that makes it look more realistic and gives it layers. And it definitely gives it a muddy look, and I really like what they did with that. So huge props to that. That looks amazing, and I cannot wait to get it in hand. But yeah, I am pretty impressed with this figure. I'm definitely going to try to get it if I can. I am upset it's not going up for pre-order. I feel like recently all those Target exclusives haven't been going up for pre-order. And it's been making us fans who want to pre-order stuff harder to get some of those those exclusives. You know, because it's exclusive to the store. Which means we're going to go and have to hunt in stores to find it. You never know how much uh, stock and inventory each store is going to get. Or if they even will get it. And... How long it'll stay in stock so you know it's one of those hassle things where you got to go and check 15 different targets to try to find it you know it's just frustrating but i do like this this is an exclusive because like i said it is kind of just a muddy version of mando where if you have a normal mando or a beskar mando you might not want that one so i think this is a perfect example of an exclusive uh you know way better than an entire like Clone Wars wave of figures we haven't gotten before so this is a great idea for an exclusive like I said uh, just a repaint of Mando it's not just a repaint like I was saying earlier but it's basically just a muddy version of Mando and a great exclusive in my opinion but anyway that is gonna do it for the video if you did enjoy the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, comment down below you guys want this muddy Mando do you like it do you not and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video